Today we're going to look at the second generation of Meow Meow, the most popular third-party transmitter for Freestyle Libre. And better keep watching because in this video I will be giving away 5 of Meow Meow 2 transmitters directly to you. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. If you are a Freestyle Libre user and you follow latest diabetes technology, you must have heard about Meow Meow. For a long time this was the most popular third-party solution to turn your Libre into a CGM, get alarms on your phone and avoid scanning. And some time ago the Chinese manufacturer decided to give their crown jewel a little facelift. Today we're gonna look at how Meow Meow 2 looks, how it works, how it's different from the first generation and whether it is worth getting one. Full disclosure, the Meow Meow manufacturer sent me one of their products for free in exchange for an honest review. I'm not getting paid for this video, but if you use a discount link in the description below, I will receive a small provision. And guys, the company decided to give away 5 of these transmitters directly to you, subscribers of my channel. So if you want to get your hands on one of these bad boys, make sure to watch all the way to the end where I will tell you how exactly you can win one of them. So what is the Meow Meow 2 and how it works? Similar to the first generation, Meow Meow 2 is a plastic add-on which you place directly on top of your Libre sensor. It sends data from the sensor every 5 minutes directly to an app on your phone via Bluetooth. This solution turns your Freestyle Libre into a continuous glucose monitor and you don't need to scan anymore. You will see your blood sugar numbers 24-7 on your phone and you can also receive customized alarms when your blood sugar is too high or too low. Meow Meow 2 works with all types of Freestyle Libre sensors and it uses an app called Tomato. The biggest difference between the first and second generation is in design. Meow Meow 2 is smaller, it's slimmer, it's a little bit lighter and it should provide more reliable connection to your sensor and your phone. Meow Meow 2 looks like a tiny spoon and it has a bigger contact area with the sensor so the transmitter stays in place much better. The transmitter color is something between white and soft grey and is matte which actually looks pretty cool. I really like both the shape and the color. It looks very modern and somehow high tech although it's just a piece of plastic. Meow Meow 2 weighs only 6 grams, which is 2 grams less than the first generation. Meow Meow 2 should also have better Bluetooth reliability, but I cannot really confirm this because I did not use the first generation. However, I didn't have any issues with the connectivity of the second generation to the sensor and to my phone. Similar to other transmitters that I reviewed on my channel, Meow Meow 2 is water resistant at a standard IP67, which means it can stay in water for about 30 minutes up to 1 meter deep. The delivery to Switzerland took almost 3 weeks, which is quite long, but to be honest during the COVID-19 pandemic everything takes a little bit longer. On the company's website they claim that normal delivery time is between 3 to 15 days depending on which country you are in and sometimes it can really last up to 3 weeks due to customs and similar issues on the way. The company sent me a lot of these double-sided adhesive stickers and in the box I found the Meow Meow transmitter and USB charging cable. There was no instructions whatsoever in the box but you can scan the QRC code on the box and you will automatically be taken to an easy to follow guide to set up your transmitter. First you need to properly charge the battery. When you connect the transmitter to the charger it will start flashing and when the battery is fully charged a green LED lights up. It is recommended to charge a transmitter for 3 hours, which is quite long, but when I did that the transmitter lasted comfortably 14 days. Once you've charged the battery you just need to reset the transmitter and you're good to go. By the way you can also charge the battery while using the transmitter because the two charging pins as well as the reset button is now located on the front side and you don't have to remove the transmitter to charge or reset the device, which was the case with Miami 01. You just put the double-sided adhesive on the transmitter, remove the remaining white cover and stick the transmitter to Libre sensor, which you previously applied to your body. I always press on the Meow Meow a little bit to make sure it's stuck properly and that the whole combo is secured. If you want to secure your transmitter even more, you can get an armband from the company website. 
Right now they have a gray and a white version and I will put a link to the website in the description below. I did not need the armband because the adhesive lasted for the full two weeks without any issues. Also it did not irritate my skin, so really good job with the adhesive Miao Miao. Now to start getting readings on your phone, you need to download the native Miao Miao app called Tomato from Apple Store or Google Play Store. Then you create an account with Tomato if you don't have one and connect your sensor. The app is quite straightforward, it lets you set up alarms for when your blood sugar is too high or too low, when your blood sugar is dropping too fast or rising too fast, or when you lose connection to the sensor. It also shows you various summaries like estimated A1C, average glucose, time and range for selected period, it is all very similar to the LibreLink app and easy to follow. One thing that is very cool about this app is that you can actually calibrate Miao Miao based on your actual blood sugar readings from the glucometer. And this can help in situations when you have a feeling that your sensor is not giving you very accurate readings, you can actually calibrate it right within the app. If you're not a big fan of the Tomato app, you can use a different app, for example Xtrip Plus, which I think is right now the most popular app for Freestyle Libre users who use these third-party transmitters. Now let me talk about a few more positives that I saw when I was testing Miao Miao 2 for about 3 weeks. Miao Miao has a very active Facebook group with thousands of members where you can interact with the other users and get uh, responses to any questions that you have. For me this was a great source of information when I was getting started with Miao Miao 2. I didn't have any issues with the Miao Miao 2 transmitter, but I decided to contact the customer support just to find out how fast they respond and what, how the interaction actually is with the customer service. Uh, best way to reach out to them is in the Facebook group or on their Facebook site. And uh, the responses were quite fast, I got all the responses that I needed, so the customer service worked just fine. Another positive about Miao Miao 2 is that I got a lot of these double-sided stickers, I think they will last me for at least a year, and when I run out of them I can get 40 additional double-sided stickers from their website only for 5 bucks, so that is really cheap. The Tomato app also works with many types of smartwatches, including Apple Watch, Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to test it, but on the Tomato website I read that it is possible to connect to Apple Watch even if you're in uh, offline mode, so you don't need to carry your phone with you and you still get readings on your Apple Watch, at least that's how I understand it, but please comment below if, if you have a different experience with Miao Miao 2. So what is the final verdict? I think if you don't have a third party transmitter and you're thinking of getting one, you should definitely add Miao Miao 2 on your watch list. Having the alarms available 24 7 will really make a difference in your diabetes management. You should see better HbA1c, you should see increased time in range and all that good stuff that we all want. Miao Miao 2 will cost you $169 and I will put a $10 discount link in the description below in case you decide to use it. And now the giveaway, so the company decided to give 5 of these Miao Miao 2 transmitters to you, viewers of Type 1 Talks YouTube channel. You can participate in the giveaway from any country in the world and to win one of these 5 bad boys you need to be subscribed to the Type 1 Talks YouTube channel, you need to give this video a thumbs up and you need to write in the comments below how many times I said meow meow in this video. Only if you write an accurate response, you will get a chance to win one of these 5 Miao Miao 2 transmitters. You can participate in the giveaway by the end of August 2020 and I will announce the winners on my channel on September 2nd 2020. Good luck and keep watching so you don't miss it. If Miao Miao 2 was not your cup of tea, click on the playlist now to watch videos about other third party transmitters that I made. I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!